I know everything. All right, anyways, now now that that very simple thing has been solved. Get yeah, the day I said this guy jumping from roof to roof. Man, he was so dashing, but you know, it's been a bandit. Maybe that's why he was sneaking into chimneys. Yeah, that's me. I'm the one who's going to be sneaking into chimneys. Can I just do that again? All that effort just to... Hold on, wait. Couple things. One, star piece. Two, shine spray. Three, who the heck are you? Good afternoon, you, sir. I'm called Grifty, the traveling minstrel. I spend my days here in leisure, spinning tales that spin the senses. I know a few stories that's around the town of Rogueport. If you like, I can share them with you, but it requires just a few coins. Uh. Oh, this is like literally all the story about the Thousand Year Door. <laughs> Man, it's like, you, you want even more exposition? Because we got an exposition character. Anyways. What do you blokes want? Uh, hello. Admiral Barbary. I have the faintest idea of what you're talking about. Now, if you please. Hey, drop the axe, Super Stash. We already found out that you're Admiral Barbary. Harumph. What's Poppycock? Tell me. What would you want with me if I were this chap? So your ship needs a navigator, and you want me to do the job, hmm? So sorry, but you have to look elsewhere. I shall set sail upon the sea nevermore. But that's just not cool. If you want to see me beg a son, is that it? You have to come along. Only you can get us to safely to Key Hall Key. Awfully sorry, dear boy. But when I say no, that's what I mean is... No! Now away with you! Dude, what a, what a grump, dude. What's the next move, Chief? This salty dude is going nowhere fast. I can't beat this guy out. What's his beef with the ocean anyway? No, we ought to do. Go find someone who knows what this dude's deal is. And you know what? I know just the man for it. <laughs> How do I know? Well, you know, it's really hard when you're looking up a spoiler not to be spoiled on more than one thing at once. <laughs> Hello. You say Barbary won't go to sea, huh? I oh, can't say that surprises me. The real question is, are you folks really sure you want Barbary back on the water? Oh, is that it? Now I see. You want to mount on an expedition to Keelhaw Key. Well, seas out there. Most sailors will meet their ends. Not old Barbary, though. The fact of the matter is, Admiral Barbary's tale is sad. Horribly sad, actually. Probably end up crying, but I'll tell it to you if you really want me to. Do it, I can take it. In that case, get ready. Barbary's tale of well goes something like this. Barbary was once married. He had a wife of enduring beauty called Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love, the sort of love reserved for fairy tales. Now, Barbary was a renowned sailor, so he was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained, though. She always waited faithfully for Barbary's return. And Barbary, his eye never drifted. He loved only Scarlet truly and deeply. So they lived and found happiness where they could. And all was good. For a time. But not all good things can last. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill. A virus passing cold. No one knew, but it soon turned serious. Barbary at sea on a long, lonely voyage knew nothing of his bride's suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Barbary, of course, blamed himself. My lovely wife perished because of me. If I went out at sea, I could have nursed her back to health. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts. They tormented him, always haunting his sleep. He has never gone out to sea since. Gee, what a downer. I guess that's a pretty good reason for hating the ocean. You all know his tale now, so tell me. 
do you still want him to return to the sea? We have no choice. If we don't do it, the world's going to literally die. So, yeah. Very well, I understand. If you're that determined, then I'll give you this. This is vodka. Oh, uh, <laughs> drink it when you need it. <laughs> a letter on a deathbed. Scholar wrote Barbary a fine letter. You hold it in your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she lay dying. If I should succumb to this plague, and my love should blame himself for my death, then give this letter to him so he may hear my voice. It was her last request. When I saw Barbara in misery trying to forget the whole pain as he mourned his wife, I couldn't bring myself to present this letter. I've regretted it. Yeah, you should regret it. Because literally, this woman's dying request was, if he blames my, himself for my death, give this letter to him. And so Barbara is very sad because he blames himself for her death. And he says, I don't want to give this to him right now. <laughs> so come on! Please, take this letter and do the deed I was too cowardly to do. Take it to Barbary. Listen, Polly, thanks a ton. We'll deliver this thing. You feel better, okay? Let's roll, Gonzalez. Oh, yeah. Hate that, man. <laughs> Honestly. Like, you had one job. I don't care that he was a coward. That's not a, that's not a cowardly thing to do. That's just, that's just not even respecting the dang, the dang Scarlet's wishes. I'm mad. I never thought I'd be this mad about a Paper Mario game, but... Regardless, I don't want to do this with 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 Punk Yoshi anymore. Get rid of Lil Yoshi and give me Vivian. <laughs> what? Oh, by Blabberton's beard, not you again. No matter how many times you wouldn't treat me, my stance is firm. Now away with him. Have this later. Pardon? What letter you say? F for me? <laughs> what? Scarlet! This is Scarlet's handwriting. Scarlet, my love. My love, if you're reading this letter, then I am no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us, I've decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away while you were out to sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it, my sweet Barbary. Although my life was short, you gave me more than a you gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. Though you were mourn, I beg that you remember that time, like love, is tied. You are one with the sea, as you are one with me. Do not lose both your life's lovers. Time. Like love is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you are one with me. Uh, a thousand pardons, but may I have a moment alone, if you please. He's crying. He said. Yes, love. I was happy. My sweet, sweet Scarlet. I love you still. Now then, you are looking for a navigator, I believe, bound for Key Hall Key? How wrong. You think an old sea bomb like me is what you need? Then let's shove off. Admiral Bobbery, wonderful. Yay! What do you got in here? <laughs> Christmas! Thank you very much, dude. I can't believe you said that back there this whole time. I have more than enough for another thing, by the way. The ship's in the harbor. Hmm? I must inspect her before we leave. I shall meet you there. <laughs> Christmas! Let's go, dude. What a good voice acting. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, an email. Hold on, gotta check my email. Batuni. Hey Mario, how are you? I'm a good, no, very good, no, great. Lots of stuff has changed here, but oh, but the, uh, not the elder being mad about my brother. That's still the same. I do wish you'd come back to play sometime. Are you really busy? Are you going someplace far away, like a place nobody's ever been? Wow, that'd be fun. I'm jealous. Well, if you ever come back here, come play with me, okay? You have to promise from Petuni. Egg. Cool. Nice letter. Let's get going, though. I don't have time for this. 
Nice sappy message, bro. All right, let's let's uh let's set sail, my friends. All right, whole crew's here. I knew you'd get Bobbery on board, you wonderful mustachioed man, you. To you, I must say, ahoy! I was wise as you as you was a captain, ahoy! To me as well. My men have already loaded our cargo and supplies. Yes, preparations are complete. If you have no errands, we can depart at once. What do you say? Shall we set sail? Yes, let's shove off. Very well. To the sea. Raise anchor and set sails for thrills. And emotion, and romance, and money. Our destination is dread, Keel Hall Key. Wait up! And off we go. This polygon is animating actively, everybody. Taken off from Rogueport on a new destination. Is X not one here? Come back, dude. I repeat, X not one here. Over. Roger. We you five by. If rotation is successful, X not black aboard vessel. Repeat, X not black is on board the vessel. Chapter five. The key to pirates. <laughs> Man, I love that son. Monster Day XO. Over the protest of my crew, the SS Flavion has set sail. Is this the voyage as reckless as they say? Oh, I must scoff. Flavia will show them guts. Another day of good wind. White clouds, they dazzle me. Is it for the blessing our voyage, Flavio? Thanks most heartily. Things are going smoothly, yet I am filled with dread. At this speed, we should reach our destination by tomorrow's sunrise. Call Captain cast his gaze. Red jewel shines in place. Boom, boss the boom, fierce eval. The Stash Brothers best of friends. Three times Red Stash lands on his end. Throw Stash belly four times his wax. So let's hear those fireworks go boom at the boom, boss the boom festival. Yes, now we are talking. Flavio told you, did he not? Nothing to fear, no. Island is right before our eyes. Do you not see it? It is a mountain of treasure. <laughs> I feel fabulous. Shall I tell you one of my many tales of raw bravery? No, no, it's no trouble at all. I was, there I was, locked in the deadly combat with a sea serpent. Yes, but even then I smiled, for I knew I'd prevail. I had the beast licked, for I am Flavio. Great. He started again. A tale of bravery, right? I had this one yesterday. But take him, yes. There's nowhere to escape to. We just have to listen until he's finished. Yes, but even then I smiled. And if you mis interrupt him mid-story, he'd absolutely lose it, too. Uh, why is the... What, what's... Wait, what's going on here? The ship's stopping. I could take him. Yes. Hi, Master Flavio. Sorry to interrupt that wicked story, but the ship stopped. Ah, <laughs> oh, stopped, you say to me. After interrupting a story of passion and fury... Oh, it is your job to keep the moving, the ship moving, yes? So take care of it. Oh, I thought I was right on it, right quick. What a... What a tick. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Just wait a Goomba stomp on mummy, you scallywags. Oh, no. Oi, quit shoving, eh? I'm working over here. I said quit shoving. Oh! It's a ghost. What is this ruckus now? Who is here? Will someone please tell me what's going on? 
No, there are no super ghosts. All of them rumors were true. Oh, what do we do? We gotta get out of here. Do not run like yourself! This is a dream that we are all having. Ah, no, 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 quickly! Move, move, move the boat! Move, move the boat! Oh, ghostly wing thing, are you really the savage party? Hurry, hurry! Walk up now, everyone! Remain civilized! Relax, don't panic! Relax! Relax, I say! Mr. Lee, take it easy! Oh, what? Ah! Excuse me! Listen, everybody! We can just form an only line without shoving! Forget that! Make a path! Barbary, look alive, man! Aye, we must get out of here! Have a balance sheep! Every rich model is much for himself! That was a joy to voice act, you know? I really did just shout a lot. Fortune from disaster, the kindly sea washed us to shore. What strange irony is this island was our intended destination all along, no? And yet we mourn. We have lost three crew members, including Admiral Barbary. It pains me to think that they were taken by the Pirate King, that ghostly thing. What happens to us now, huh? We may be lost without hope, stricken in the wilds. We've made a semblance of civilized life here. The ships float some washed in. We now have the salty bread and other salty things. We can live for some time on this salty bounty of the sea, but then what, I ask? We've built a few huts from the wash-up timbers. Ah, oh, poor sweet earth as Flavio. At least the shanties keep out the wind and rain. We still had no sign of Barbary and the others. And my heart, she doubts. Still, despite my fears, we must continue to hope that they are alive somewhere. Three days on the island now, and all the huts are finished. We've got our life here, as we all dream of a return to the port. It ain't much, but we finished the we have for you to rest in. Come have a look. All right. So welcome to Keel Hall Key, everybody. Here we are. This is the next big area of the game. I, I don't remember ever going this way first. So I don't know what I'm about to discover. Oh. Hello. Oh, God, don't hit me. A waka bump. <laughs> Cool! Waka bumps are very powerful! <laughs> 25 HP, 25 FP, a great healing item. Always good to have on hand. And here we are. Captain, please help us! Flavio and Papatra are in a huge fight! And what about you, Squinty? You all turned a jelly when you all saw those ghosts! What are you talking about? We are the one quaking in his boots, fancy pants! Wait a moment, did you just call the great Flavio? Fancy Pants! That's right, Fancy Pants. Fancy Pants, Fancy Pants, Fancy Pants, Fancy Pants. Why, you each of Cyclops, Flavio demands satisfaction. You, me, hammers at dawn. Well, that's fine right by me. I can't wait to put a few dents in those fancy threads. Oh, who's here? Could cut the sash, the ghosts are back. <laughs> there they are. Mario! Protoss out of the Zenora! Take care of those ghosts! Okay. I guess we'll do that. And so the battle begins against. Ghosts. Probably should have healed. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna try to super hammer. Man, I love all these. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, I have no... 
Okay. Sets them on fire. Nope. Okay. Can't touch them. I've learned my mistake. Ow. Now I'm on fire. Ow. Okay. I'm having a trouble here. Not today, pal. Get out of here. Uh, wh what type of special moves do we have here? We got art attack. Let's try this. This is our this is our new move. Oh, that got him. <laughs> oh, hey, a level up. Exactly a level up. That's a great time for that. I don't know when I last leveled up. Um, I would like to upgrade our, our HP. I feel like it's the right thing to do right now. I feel like we're going to need more of that. Yes, you're a bloomin' beast, Captain Stash. Too early to celebrate. No, there are surely more of them elsewhere, ah? Someone must investigate the rest of the island. Yes, that is what must be. As a leader of the expedition, I, of course, should stay here. On this, I brook no argument. Ah, yes, of course, Mario. Perhaps you could enter the exploration of this island. Sure. That says, my boy, I knew you'd go first with boldness. We can count on you. And we'll have to get to that on the next episode of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for being. Thank you all for hanging out. I love you. Bye.